the filtration zone, the regeneration zone and the swimming zone. In the regeneration zone you have a sand bed and in the sand bed you have reed plants which are the plants which are normally growing in swamps. So these are really the, the part which we have pushed out of our cities, but these were also the parts which actually clean the water because they oxygenize the water and they feed on the nutrients and the bacteria which are in the water. Then you have the regeneration cell, which is swimming plants like water lilies and they oxygenize the water. And then you have the swimming cell, which is 140 here and 280 in the deep end. It's a small platform for children. Um, we have additionally, we have skimmers, three skimmers, one here, one there, and one there, which is secret to cover. They filter off the dust which is on the surface of the water, so they run in a couple of hours. Then we have a coat of um, mineral filter, which is this one, that one, and these brown covers which you see lower down. And uh, the water which is evaporating is automatically replaced by London tap water and it's actually also filtered before it comes in because when we put in the water, this was in December, and we could see that London tap water has a lot of phosphor, so it was very cloudy in fact, it wasn't clear at all like it is now. And we started running the filters in um, February, so it's been like two months and almost could see are getting clearer by by the day um, yeah and actually uh, yeah when we talk to uh, uh, the contractors King Kum and say oh how come the plants are not going uh, very fast and they say well actually they need food so now it's time to go and swim and then to give plants the food that you have on you <laughs> and to kind of make this process much faster somehow so uh, one more word about the landscape around the pool because we have the water cycle but we also have the soil cycle and the plant cycle which happens around it. We start with a piece of barren land like fallow site ground which is at uh, with the very north end and then it moves from a very dry stony soil to kind of normal soil, more rich soil and eventually you have this very nice um, turf field over there and these are 80 different wild plants which are all pre-grown organically we had a planting session uh, six weeks ago to put them in with uh, the people um, yeah, from the community around together with global generation um, No, I think that's that's it. That's yeah. it, I think. Okay. Guys, I suggest